Hi, my name is Dr. Jay Desai and I welcome you all to this 12th video on gate series for metallurgical engineers. In this video, I am talking about strengthening mechanisms that is grain size reduction, solid solution hardening and strain hardening. Now what is strengthening or what do we really mean when we use the word strengthening? It means we are trying to improve the mechanical strength of the materials. How do we do that? We do that by restricting the dislocation moment. Since we know that the movement of dislocation leads to slip, which leads to plastic deformation. So if by some means we can restrict this dislocation moment, we can promote strengthening in the material. This can be done by three different methods grain size reduction, solid solution hardening, and strain hardening. So how can reduction in grain size lead to strengthening? So we know that the movement of dislocation is called slip, and we also know that between two grains, there exists a grain boundary, which is a surface which separates individual grains or they are disordered regions which separates the two different grains. So suppose you have grain A and grain B and the dislocation wants to move from grain A to grain B. Now in the path of dislocation there exists a grain boundary which will act as barrier to this dislocation movement and it will hinder the path of dislocation. And since we are restricting the movement of dislocation it will promote strengthening. This is also given by Holtz equation, where sigma y equals to sigma naught plus kd minus half, where sigma y is the yield strength, sigma naught and k are constants, and d is the grain size or grain diameter. So the Holtz equation states that yield strength of the material is inversely proportional to grain size or grain diameter. Means smaller the grain size, there will be more grain boundaries and uh, since there are more grain boundaries, more resistance to slip will be offered and this will lead to an increase in the yield strength of the material. Therefore, if we reduce the grain size, we will have enhancement in mechanical strength for the material. The second method of strengthening is called solid solution hardening. Here what we do is we add alloying elements to the parent material. And these alloying elements are elements which are added to improve the property of materials. So the size of these elements can be larger or it can be smaller than the parent atom. So suppose you have aluminum lattice with you and you add magnesium inside this aluminum lattice. So what will happen? Magnesium has a larger atomic size than aluminium. So it will impart outward stress to this aluminium lattice and it will distort the lattice. And this distortion in lattice will act as a barrier and it will hinder the dislocation moment. The another case is when we add manganese to aluminium. Now the size of manganese atoms is smaller than aluminium, so there will be a net inward force in the lattice. It will again destroy the lattice and the stresses will be created which will act as a barrier to the dislocation moment. And in both the cases what we are doing is we are providing or we are creating the stress in the lattice and this stress hinders the dislocation moment. And since we are able to restrict the dislocation moment, we are promoting strengthening in the material by alloying elements. Now, the third way of strengthening or third method of strengthening is called strain hardening or work hardening or cold working. Here, what we are trying to do is we are trying to increase the strength of metals by plastic deformation. So we know that plastic deformation is nothing but movement of dislocations or slip. So if there is more plastic deformation, more slip will take place means more number of dislocations will be generated. 
Now, since more number of dislocations are generated, they may entangle each other or one dislocation may hinder the path of other dislocation. And these two mechanisms make the slip harder. And here also we are trying to restrict the movement of dislocations. The net movement of dislocation is restricted by dislocations themselves. And this promotes strengthening in the material. So strain hardening or work hardening or cold working is also one of the methods by which we can improvise or we can improve the strength of the materials. I hope you like my video and to watch more videos and support my work, please subscribe to my channel. The next video, I will be talking about iron carbon diagram. And if there is topic suggestions from viewers and subscribers, they are welcome. And uh, if you have any queries or uh, suggestions on the content, or if you have possible openings, collaborations, then you can reach out to me uh, on LinkedIn, email, or by commenting on the YouTube video. Thank you.